In less than 24 hours, the Charleston Coliseum will be rocking again. The TBT returns to the capital city Sunday with that same $1 million prize on the line. Definitely big time incentive to play hard, so we're excited. Heard that is ready to give it another shot. The team has represented Marshall in the TBT the last three years. Despite falling short of that million dollar prize, John Elmore thinks the herd have a good shot this year. The team that beat us ended up making the championship and probably should have won. So uh, it motivates us because it shows how close we are, that the gap is really slim. And we had a few new additions this year, so hopefully that puts us over the top. The Elmore name is well known in the Charleston area, but the team brings in a mix of Marshall alums and overseas players like Derek Cook, Ja'Cory Williams, and Stevie Browning. When they're on the court, they're representing all of the Thundering Herd. Most people graduate, they never put a jersey on again and then let alone represent your school again. So playing on ESPN, nationally televised games with Marshall Herd Dad on your chest is super meaningful. On the opposite side, Best Virginia is ready to prove they're in fact the Best Virginia. James Long squad reached the regional semifinals last year and will take on Virginia Dream at seven. Felt like we, we had some unfinished business from last season. Uh, we felt like we could have went further in the tournament, so that gives us a little bit of hunger. And then also having a home crowd there will help us as well. The group has kept most of the core together from last year, and many share a common bond playing under the legendary Bob Huggins. Chemistry is great. Most of the guys are, or, uh, they already come back during the summertime, so we have that connection with each other as well. And then also, like you said, we all play for Coach Huggins, so we have that mentality instilled in us. So it shouldn't be too hard to bring that together on the court. If both teams win on Sunday, Best Virginia and Heard That will clash Tuesday night, a matchup fans in the Mountain State have wanted for years. Both teams aren't overlooking their first round matchups, but this is a game both want to see played. I mean a lot. I mean, obviously the rivalry is there. Not everybody went to each other's school, so that's a little bit different, but the rivalry is still there, and it would be great for the state. That potential matchup on Tuesday, if it happens, would be sweet. Um, only two Division One schools, the programs in the state, so both good big-time basketball schools, and I think uh, bringing the Mountaineer fans and the Marshall fans together is always a good time.